Welcome to Studio 48, Signal Path Saturdays. This is where we just talk about some of the equipment we use in the studio, equipment that's might, that might be new, or just things that we like. We like to make sounds, and this is about the technology we make those sounds with. Today I'd like to talk about the Boss Blues Driver. It was released in 1995. It was to kind of compete with a tough high gain market. There were so many high gain pedals on that market. A lot of low gain blues players felt left out. This was Boss's shot at, hey, can we appeal to that crowd? And in a way they did. This is still part of their catalog. This is still available for purchase at $100. It's a great unit. This is how it works. We've got three very simple knobs here. We've got a level which uh, is, it is a volume, but as it increases, it will act like a boost, depending on the amplifier you use it with. The tone knob, always start in the middle. We can go brighter or we can go darker. Some instruments don't have a lot of presence and treble to them. This is how you can add that to the pedal to get the sizzly tight sound that we might like. So now we're gonna get a modern sound out of this. Now when I say modern, I'm really referring to a number of different genres. You might sum it up in somewhere like maybe pop punk or um, modern grunge, I guess we could call it. There's a lot of bands out there that are just taking bits and pieces from a lot of styles of music. And a lot of times we need to go from a nice and go into a nice. So here is a nice kind of palm muty, jumpy little modern riff. This is the gain knob. This is arguably the most fun on the pedal. We can have some low gain, we can have some high gain, we can do some lead. This guy will give you a bit of a spectrum, you know, low to mid and even a little bit of high gain depending on how you run it and how hot your guitar is. It was directed at blues players. I am going to show you how to not play blues with it. I am going to play modern music with this. And uh, just to give an example of the versatility this pedal has. Some say that every guitar player needs an overdrive pedal, and I could not agree more. This is one of my go-to's because my clean channel can suddenly become a British crunch monster. Do you play a newer style of music that needs a classic flavor? Give this pedal a try. Thank you for watching.